Welcome back, fellas. I'll give you a look around what's been going on with the extension. They're coming on a long way. It's exciting stuff, man, when it's your own house. That gap I've just walked through, see, from this wall over to this wall, it's going to be patio doors, like big, long three metre doors. This side, we've got some more doors. Come this way. Ah. Honestly, there's mud everywhere. This is the side of the house. Check out the brickwork, man. Honestly, it looks mint. It's a simple thing, man. Oh, yeah, we're going to do the car. As you can see, the car is just totally, totally blocked in. There's like insulation there. Then there's like these grey blocks. And the, then there's, then there's, then there's, then there's bricks. Just kind of get the car out. But I've got a job we need to do it in the garage. Uh, and it's a bit, it's a bit wet and drizzly outside, so I'll do a job for the weather. First off, can I just say a massive thanks to everyone who buys like the hoodies and the t-shirts and that. Do you know what I mean? It really helps us out. Plus these hoodies are kind of cool. These are like a premium range one. It says cheers with the RS on. They look cool, do you know what I mean? They've got like the white string and that. And they're quite thin, which I like. I like a thin hoodie. But anyway, in this box, right, I'll show you what's in. But yeah, let's move this camera. So there's very few things in life that embarrass me. So I'm not the type of person that gets embarrassed easy, but one thing that does embarrass us is the horn on this car. Like your car horn, right? It'll have two horns. So there's two horns on a car, right? You've got a high pitch one that'll go meh, and a low pitch one that'll give up meh. And when you put them together, you get your boop. Do you know what I mean? You get your car horn. Well on mine, the low pitched one's gone. So when I beep the horn, I just get out me. Do you know what I mean? Sounds like Noddy's coming or something. So I went eBay and I did originally search for original horns for, for the Cosworth or a, C, or a Ford, an old Ford. And I swear to God, they're like second hand. They're like 50 quid for a proper motorcraft one. It's like, hey man, it's just a horn. So I've got these Lucas ones. One's a high pitch, one's a low pitch. Let's show you the horn on the car now. Then we'll lash these on. Pretty simple job, it's just a couple of screws and that. But sometimes the simple jobs can turn into interesting jobs. I'm sure you've all seen me oil filter change. Right, listen, this is the standard horn. This is the standard horn, right? <coughs> Did you hear how it's like me, <coughs> me? So obviously it's just it sounds crap, you know what I mean? But it's just located behind like this front wing bit here. So we're just gonna jack it up, tap the wheel off, see how it goes. On these wheels, these are proper split rims. It's got like a centre cap there. This is held on by like a five milli Allen key. Honestly, fellas, if you're working on cars a lot, the best thing I've ever bought is this impact driver. This is a Milwaukee one, like they're kind of expensive. You can get cheaper ones, but honestly, it just make life so much easier. Like the horns here, there's a horn. So we'll tap that one off. The horns there, we need a 30 milli air socket. Two seconds, I'll be right back. 30 milli. Right, fellas, I've got the horn off. You see, this one has just got a live, whereas the new ones have got a live and a negative. So, I'm guessing the bracket's at earth on this, but anyway, stay at the bracket. It's all bent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the bracket, I'm going to take the work, just chuck it in the good old twisty sandblaster, we'll paint it up so it looks nice, and we'll do some research in the wiring. So hang around fellas, we'll figure it out together. We know, you remember I was saying about the horns, we've got two pitches, a high and a low. Well this is a low one, see there, low base. These are the new ones. That one, high bit, high. See that one says high, and that one says low. I didn't know that. I thought a horn was a horn, but hey man, life's an education, do you know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to take this bracket off, we're going to take it to work, and we'll have it looking sexy before we put it back in the car. Let's get this 30mm nut off. 
It's a bit tight. Do you reckon this will work or do you reckon I'll rip it out my hands and cut my hands to bits? Oh, what a beauty. Tell you, man, amazing these things. Drop and washers. Right. We'll store that in the B1N. We'll take this to work and we'll have a look sexy. a bit of research fellas and a little bit of testing and from what i understand right the car horn doesn't need a negative it just needs one wire which i'm guessing is a positive so i'm just going to make like a little i'll show you come here if i get this bit of wire or any bit of wire all i need to do is put the lead from the car on one of these then make a bridge with a bit of wire from here to that side simple as that man fellas honestly it's an easy job first First, I'm going to fix them to the bracket. I'm using these stainless steel bolts. You can get them on eBay, they're like two quid for like 10 or something. The, the cheap is out. And plus they didn't rust, do you know what I mean? So in years to come, my car's not going to look rusty underneath. At least this won't. Right, so just line this up, smack it through, couple of watches. Tell you what, fellas, honestly, I wish I could tack these out in the car. You know, with all that, all that stuff outside, it's just a speed connector. With all that stuff outside, I just kind of get the car out, man. I haven't been out in it for when's the last time I was out in the car. It's been at least a month. Do any of you fellas know how they make this heat shrink stuff? What they do is, right, they get a bit of normal plastic sleeving, like what I've just cut off there, and they stretch it open. That's what that is. When you heat it up, it just shrinks back to where it was. I say, not unlike the Discovery Channel, you know, like this, uh, how it's made and stuff like that. I love stuff like that, mate. I like, no, stuff's made. Get the heat going, I'll be two seconds. That just goes onto there. I think I'll put a cable tie in that to stop it flapping about. That's quite a long wire there, isn't it? Watch this. You ready? Tap that off there. Put them like that. Then all I need is a tiny little wire to go between there. Genius, my fellas. Genius. Just need to shorten that wire now. Might edit that bit out. Look at that, man. I've got a new stainless steel bolt here. I've got some good old copper slip. I know it's easy to get carried away with this stuff, but you honestly, you only need a little bit like, if you put too much on, when you put the bolt in, it just oozes out and it just makes a mess. New horns. Wait there, I'm just going to go under and stick these on, right? With two settings, stay there. It's only catching on my bloody bumper. It's on, it's on. Let's test it. <laughs> I 
That's it, fellas. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Thanks to everyone who buys the hoodies. And if you see he's out and about in the car, give us a beep. I'll let you hear the new horn. Till next time, I'll see you later.